What's up? My name is Stabby, and today I'm going to show you how to do this super cool shout out thingy in Streamlabs OBS. Let's get right to it. Alright, so we'll start at StreamElements.com. I'll throw something in the description below for you, and you just log in. So uh, if you haven't logged in previously, just throw in your credentials. Um, if you're on light theme, just uh, make sure you click this little dark theme button, because uh, dark theme though. Um, we're going to go to My Overlays over here on the left, and um, this is where it will pop up. So um, how you get this is actually you click a link, it's a one-click installer, and it'll just throw it right in. So I will provide that link in the description, just look down there for it. So I'm going to paste that in, and shablamo. We got the awesome shout out by this guy named Rene Chiquette. Um, he's actually the, the developer of this and he gets uh, full credit for all this. This is an awesome tool. So we'll go into the overlay editor just by clicking that edit button there. And uh, you've got it. Just uh, double click in the middle of this. And you can customize it however you want. Right here is the, don't, like, the duration of how long the shadow is actually going to be on. Um, so I'm just gonna leave that and if you want to change a shout out command you can do that there um, I like to just keep it on user channel logo you can make it a video a gif or any picture you want but um, I feel like that's uh, a little bit more advanced so if you want me to explain how to do that how to make an, a video maybe a clip from the streamer instead of the, just their logo um, let me know in the comments below and I'll uh, think about making that for you Alright, um, then depending on the size of the video or image, you can do that. I like to have a sound when I do it, so um, I've already got this uh, Metaton. Oh, yes. So I'm just going to submit that. If you don't have it in there, you can just hit the upload button right here and uh, throw it in, just drag and drop, whatever sound you have, and then uh, you'll have it just like this. So we're going to upload that, and whenever it goes, it will... Uh, do that oh yes. oh yes oh yes and that's what we're working with so far so um, I want to change it a little bit so I'm gonna make this a uh, light blue so let's just click on this color wheel here and then you can change it to what you like um, we're gonna do this so select that we'll just copy that color code for the bottom because there is a uh, you have different options for the top and bottom so now we've got the same uh, make sure if you make any changes, you uh, hit that save button down here. Um, I'm probably covering it up right now. Boom, got it. This save button right here. Make sure you hit this if you make any changes at all. <laughs> Nailed it. All right, so then we'll go through the different options just to change it however we want it. So um, we'll just go up here, and uh, I think I'll keep the, the font weight. That's basically boldness. If you, uh, if you want to change that, you can. We already changed the color, um, so I'm going to copy that again if I didn't before. And I want it to... Um, I was looking through these a little bit earlier, and I really liked light speed in. It just kind of... Whoosh, it, you'll see. You'll see. That's a pretty accurate description, though. So I'll just turn that to fast in the animation speed. That just how, how fast it comes in, basically. And how do I want it to go? I want it to go out right. So I zoomed all the way down, and we'll do zoom out right, right here. So it'll basically whoosh, in and whoosh, out. And I think that's pretty cool. Um, we'll keep the font the same. You can go through different fonts if you want, but I'm not going to. Oh, and uh, I did forget we need to change the main text. So the main text is going to be 10. 10 out of 10 would stab again. So that's going to come, that's going to do the zoom in on the top. And then we'll go down here and we will find uh, the subtext. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that blank. Um, you can you can put in whatever you want, but I just want it to say the name at the bottom and not really anything else. So we'll just leave that. And then uh, you can go through the same options on that one. Um, you can go through different position and animation settings here if you want to customize that. Um, that is an option for you. Or um, we can do the animation settings here. So um, if you want to change those up, you definitely can. And uh, that's... That's basically it, easy as it gets. You just uh, go ahead and launch. Well, oh boy, oh boy, here we go. 
So we just need to hit the launch button right down here and it'll pop up this box. That's how it's done. All right, so we just need to click that. It'll copy it automatically, but I'm gonna copy it again for good measure. Go into Streamlabs OBS here and we will just throw that in a browser source. So to do that, just uh, hit this plus button right here and go into browser source there and add a source. We're gonna add a new source, so click this little button and we'll call it a uh, shout out. And since I already have one, I'll make it two. You get it, you get it. In this URL right here, just uh, paste that thing you just copied and Boom, it should be in. You, so I'm gonna say uh, SO stab stream in my chat right now. Oh, we'll see if it does yes. the thing. I've got two apparently. So um, the, double the trouble. Let's, oh, there's a problem that I've had before. Let's, uh, let's go through how to fix that. So if it does pop up half like that, oh, um, yes. all you need to do is go into the, uh, the thing itself. So we're gonna go into shout out to here. We're going to right click it and hit properties. Then um, you just need to edit the width um, to what suits you best. So I'm gonna move it from 1800 to let's try 1650. And it's just kind of like a trial and error. I usually try to make it uh, so it goes across. Um, and you do have to do it through the properties menu. Otherwise it'll just stretch it and it won't end up um, actually going across the entire thing. So uh, 1650 didn't work, we're gonna try 1950. And that looks pretty accurate. So let's just try that again. Press SO, stab stream in oh, chat and yes. bang, we got the thing. But <laughs> you know something, it doesn't have the same settings that, that I said it just now. So the reason for that is because, all right, one more time, one more time. It's because we forgot to save it. That's why it's so important, because if you don't save it, the changes you make will not happen. So make sure you save it. So we're just gonna click that, and then it should go the way that we yes. set it. There we go. Zooming in and zooming out. That is how it's done. Kind of. Thanks for watching. If the video was helpful at all, definitely like it um, and subscribe for future streaming tutorials. And you can always check me out live on twitch.tv slash stream to see this effect and all other kinds of cool effects that I pull out. Um, so I will see you in the next video. Peace.